Hogyoku. The Hogyoku, crumbling orb, this, breakdown sphere, is a small, bluish-purple orb composed of a unique substance thought to have been capable of dissolving the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollow, allowing one race to attain the powers of the other. However, its true power lies in its ability to sense the hearts of those around it and materialize their deepest desire. Two Hogyoku are known to exist, the first invented by Sosuke Aizen and the other by Kisuke Urahara. Ultimately, Aizen merged his orb with the latter's, forming a single Hogyoku. History Some time before Urahara even conceived the concept of the Hogyoku, Sosuke Aizen, having already come to the same conclusion, had created one of his own. Realizing that it was still incomplete, Aizen presented to it the souls of hundreds upon hundreds of Shinigami and Rukangai citizens to no avail. In time, by analyzing the research data concerning Urahara's own Hogyoku, Aizen learned that it was also incomplete. With this in mind, Aizen sought to steal Urahara's Hogyoku and present it to his own. Roughly 101 years before his defection from Seoul society, Sosuke Aizen put an experiment into motion which would put the true capabilities of the Hogyoku to the test. With the help of his subordinates, he forcibly caused Shinji Hirako and a number of other Shinigami captains and lieutenants to undergo holification. In an attempt to reverse the damage Aizen had caused, Kisuke Urahara used the Hogyoku on them. However, while it succeeded in stabilizing their souls, it failed to undo the holification. Framed for the incident by Aizen, Kisuke fled to the world of the living with the group of Shinigami, bringing his Hogyoku along with him. Eventually, the group of Shinigami, gaining control over their newfound hollow powers, became known as the Visored, rogues rumored to have gained hollow powers through illegal means. Sometime after his exile, Urahara sought a means to destroy the Hogyoku, but to no avail. Out of desperation, he deactivated it and placed it deep within the soul of a Shinigami, Rukia Kuchiki, without her knowledge. By giving her a special Jigai, which would eventually turn her soul into that of an ordinary human permanently, he hoped it would hide the Hogyoku forever. His plan failed when Sosuke Aizen betrayed Soul Society to retrieve it, unbeknownst to Urahara, Aizen was the one who had deployed Rukia to the human world in the first place. Aizen had delved further into Urahara's research, discovering two ways to extract an object from a soul, the first was to evaporate the soul with an immense amount of heat, which could be accomplished with an instrument such as the Sokayaku. Because the Sokayaku was only used for the execution of Shinigami who broke the law severely, Aizen, murdering the Central 46, impersonated them with the special ability of his Zampakudo, Kyoka Sujetsu, thus orchestrating the events leading to Rukia's execution. However, this plan was foiled when the Sokayaku was destroyed by Jashiro Yukatake and Shunsue Kairaku, so Aizen resorted to the second method. Using a device invented by Urahara himself, Aizen extracted the Hogyoku from Rukia's soul and retreated into Hueko Mundo, where he used it to bolster the power of his Erenkar army. Later on, Aizen has his Erenkar capture Orihai Minoue because of her special ability, the Shun Shun Rika. He reveals to her that every time the Hogyoku is used, its power deteriorates somewhat, and that he brought her to Hueko Mundo to repair it. As a sign of trust, he shows her the Hogyoku itself, which inspires her to seek to negate its existence with her powers, rather than heal it. Aizen's reasoning for capturing her is later proven to be a ruse, as he brought Oriheim to Hueko Mundo in the hopes of luring away some of the Godii 13 captains so he may invade Karakura town with less resistance. At some point after showing the orb to Oriheim, Aizen combines it with Urahara's Hogyoku and embeds the product into his own body. During the Godii 13th battle against his Erenkar army at the fake Karakura town, he reveals this to Ichigo Kurosaki. Not long after, Aizen engages Ishin Kurosaki in combat, who pushes him to the limit of his Shinigami self. Detecting this, the Hogyoku fully awakens, causing his body to begin undergoing a transformation. Aizen is soon betrayed by Jin Ikimaru, who after dealing a crippling blow to him snatches the Hogyoku and attempts to escape. However, Aizen transforms yet again, declaring that whether it is with him or not, the Hogyoku is already his. As he says this, the Hogyoku proceeds to melt away, reforming in Aizen's chest. Moments later, a newly empowered Ichigo arrives and begins to fight the transformed Aizen. After being dealt a powerful blow by Ichigo, Aizen yells out in frustration, prompting the Hogyoku to force yet another transformation upon him. Aizen, in a monstrous form, states that the Hogyoku has no intention of allowing him to lose to a mere human. Regardless, Ichigo uses the final Getsuga Tensho and attacks Aizen with Mujetsu. Aizen survives the blast, regenerating from a large wound dealt to him, but remains heavily damaged. 
No longer recognizing the weakened Aizen as its master, the Hogyoku causes his Zanpakuto to disintegrate, though he mistakes it for thinking he no longer needs one. Following Kisuke Urahara's arrival moments later, the Hogyoku proceeds to reverse Aizen's transformations, returning him to his original state. Ichigo later suggests that Aizen reverted to his original form not because the Hogyoku rejected him, but because Aizen secretly wished to lose his power and become an ordinary Shinigami. Activation When Aizen gained possession of Urahara's Hogyoku, the seal the latter had placed on it was broken, but the orb still needed time to awaken from its dormancy. However, Aizen discovered a way to temporarily bypass this awakening period. He found the Hogyoku could be fully awakened, if only for an instant, by allowing it to momentarily fuse with an individual who possesses at least twice the Ryuryoku of a captain-level Shinigami. Aizen himself possesses such a level of Ryuryoku, and therefore uses the Hogyoku to enhance his Erenkar army. Powers Overbearing Power When Tezsai Tsukabashi first witnessed the Hogyoku, he stated it possessed an overbearing power unlike anything else in Seoul society, a power completely unrelated to Ryatsu. He goes on to say its very presence felt as though it were trying to stifle his very existence. Desire materialization, though initially thought to solely possess the power to control the boundary of the two contravening existences, that of Shinigami and Hollows, this was proven incorrect. Rather, the Hogyoku's true power is the ability to absorb the desires of those around it and manifest them into reality. However, this power is not without limitations. The Hogyoku itself is merely a guiding force, it can only manifest the desires of those with the strength to carry them out. The events which happened around Ichigo Kurosaki, Rukia Kuchiki, and Kisuke Urahara were events materialized by the Hogyoku itself, which possesses a will of its own. Holofication slash Erenkarification, while not truly an ability of the Hogyoku itself, the orb took on this property because it is what Kisuke Urahara desired when he invented it. Through this power, the Hogyoku could be used to bypass the barrier which separates Shinigami and Hollows. As such, it can cause Shinigami to undergo holofication and Hollows to undergo Erenkarification. These processes lead to the creation of a Hollow Shinigami hybrid and an Erenkar, respectively. Fusion, as demonstrated by Aizen, the Hogyoku can be embedded into one's body, fusing with it almost completely. In this state, the Hogyoku instinctively protects its master by healing its master's injuries almost instantly in a manner similar to a hollow's high-speed regeneration. As the Hogyoku's will further understands its master's heart, the fusion between them progresses, restructuring his soul and triggering a transformation. Subjects exposed to the Hogyoku Because of its ability to manifest the hearts of those around it, even if they are not aware of it, the Hogyoku has affected several different individuals. In some cases, its powers were used intentionally. Visored, when Shinji Hirako and seven other captains and lieutenants began to undergo holification because of Aizen's holification experiments, Urahara sought to reverse the process by using the Hogyoku. However, instead of undoing the process, the orb stabilized their souls, allowing them to become the Visored. Erenkar, though Hollows can become Erenkar through natural means, the difference in power is usually small. Artificially creating Erenkar with the Hogyoku, however, is said to unlock a great deal more of said Erenkar's potential power, wonder why Smargila was among those empowered in this way. Sosuke Aizen, after using the Hogyoku to bolster his army's power, Aizen implanted it in himself, attaining regeneration as a result. When his soul later reached its limit as a Shinigami, the orb caused Aizen to undergo a series of transformations, causing himself to transcend the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollows. Rukia Kuchiki, alleged according to Aizen, she still held the guilt of killing Kai and Shiba. The Hogyoku caused her to transfer all of her powers into Ichigo Kurosaki instead of half as she had intended. Kanaim Tozen, alleged as a reward for faithfully serving Aizen, Tozen was granted hollow powers. As a result, he could don a hollow mask and use a resurrection, Griller Grillo. Orihai Minoue and Yasutora Sado, Alleged according to Aizen, because Oriheim and Sado cursed their powerlessness from the bottom of their hearts, the Hogyoku caused them to develop unique abilities, the Shun Shun Rika and the Brazo Deri Cha de Giganti respectively. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.